Hi, welcome to this screencast on triangle congruency shortcuts. In section 3.1, you learned that when two triangles were congruent, there were six pairs of parts that ended up being congruent as well, three pairs of sides and three pairs of angles. During the rest of this chapter, we will learn how to convince someone that two triangles are congruent even when we don't have all six pair of congruences to work with. As you can see from my notes, there are five of these legal shortcuts, and we're going to go over each one, one at a time. Each one represents a case where a smaller amount of information will be sufficient to guarantee that the two triangles are congruent. The first case is called side, 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 and it's abbreviated with three S's, so side, side, side. It means when you have two triangles and you have one pair of sides congruent to each other and then a second pair of sides congruent to each other and then the third pair of sides congruent to each other, that that is sufficient information to assume that the two triangles are congruent. The second case is called side angle side and it's abbreviated as SAS. It's not an accident that the A is written between the two S's because it has to be that the angle is in between the two sides. So for instance, this side could be congruent to this side, this side could be congruent to that side, but now the angle has to be the one situated between the two sides I've already marked. So that angle could be congruent to that angle right there. That angle is often called the included angle because it's in between the two sides. So notice that angle had to be in between this side and this side. It couldn't have been one of these other two angles here. So if you hear people say the included angle, they mean an angle that's in between two sides that are marked. The third legal shortcut is called angle side angle and we abbreviate it with an ASA. What it means is if I have two triangles and I have an angle congruent to another angle and then I have another angle congruent to a second angle over here and then I have a side congruent to a side. Notice that side is right between the two angles just like the S is right between the two A's. So we call that an included side. This would be an example of sufficient information to have these two triangles congruent. The fourth shortcut is called side angle angle or sometimes called angle angle side. This is really two different names for the same shortcut. The key point is that in this case the S is not between the two A's in either case. So what that means is it's not the side that's between the two marked angles. So if I had this angle right here congruent to this angle right here and I had this angle right here congruent to this angle right here, the side that I mark will not be this side because this side is the one between this angle and this angle. So it has to be one of these other two pairs of sides that are not between my two marked angles. So I'll go ahead and mark these sides right here, but I could have just as easily marked the other pair of sides that I had shown you before that are not between those two angles. The final legal shortcut is called hypotenuse leg, and we abbreviate that with HL. You probably remember that a hypotenuse is the long side of a right triangle. That gives you your first big hint as to when to use this particular method. Unlike the four previous shortcuts, this one, instead of three pairs of sides or angles, the third piece of information that you need to have right from the beginning are right angles. If there are no right angles, then there are no hypotenuses. So just like this name suggests, I have to have the hypotenuses congruent to each other. That would be the long side that's opposite the right angle. And I would have to have one of the shorter sides pairs be congruent to one another. It didn't matter if I marked this pair right here 
or this pair right here. These are both pairs of legs. It didn't matter which pair of legs I marked congruent. To summarize, these are the five legal shortcuts, the only five that exist for showing two triangles are congruent. Side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, angle, and hypotenuse leg. Finally, here are six problems for you to try on your own. I hope this screencast was helpful.